Hello dear friends, so welcome back to my channel and I'm Gerald Beya. I'm here to teach you Spanish. I'm using this smartphone application, Duolingo. So let's get started. We have a new topic today, work, and let's look at the tips. Here are two definite articles. So in English, we have only one definite article, which is the but uh, that's because we don't have agendas for things uh, and articles stay the same even if gender changes so los and las are defined articles in the plural form so previously we have met some uh, defined article for the masculine gender and the feminine gender so when referring to more than one person or thing l becomes los l is a definite article for the masculine gender El, for example, el hombre, and it becomes los, los hombres, in, uh, in plural. So here, are another here is another example. El bolígrafo. El bolígrafo, the pen. Los bolígrafos. Los bolígrafos, the pens. And it's the same for uh, the feminine gender. So, for example, la mujer, the woman. And if you have many women, so it's going to be las mujeres. So, uh, la carta. La carta, the letter. Las cartas. Las cartas, uh, the letters. So, in English, we have only one definite article, the, but in Spanish, we have genders. So, in singular, it's going to be el o la. And in plural, it's going to be los o las. All right, I hope that this is uh, clear in your mind. Anyway, we will have exercises coming uh, coming up later on. So we will get uh, the chance to practice and to clarify any uh, anything that you might not uh, understand right now. So what's the deal with Sue? Sue is uh, something that you've met so, for example, uh, if we are talking in a formal way, we say yo, so su, uh, but it can have many different meanings. For example, it can mean her, means her, or uh, other things. So, how to know uh, what is the meaning of su, because it has so, so many different meanings. So, su can mean a few different things. Context will help you understand which meaning is intended. So, it's all about context. Su dinero. Su dinero here means her money, but su negocio, su negocio, their business. So uh, we see the context because there uh, it's about her and here it's about them. And su café, señor. Su café, señor. Uh, your coffee. So now it's a señor, it's formal. Like I said, uh, you will say tu café uh, if it's going to, if it was in an informal uh, situation, but if you're calling someone senor, it's formal and you want to use the possessive pronoun, uh, sorry, po possessive adjective uh, su instead of tu. Let's get started, we'll do some exercises and I'm sure that uh, you're going to uh, clear all doubts and master this part of the lesson. So. Select the correct translation. I am talking with the bosses. So, yo hablo con las uh, jefas. Jefas or bosses. Yeah. And so, let's continue. Now, we have to pair up uh, the words. Jacket, if you remember. Chaqueta. Chaqueta. Mesa. Mesa is a table. Eres, Eres. is you are. To speak. Uh, hablar. hablar. This is the... Uh, uh, infinitive of uh, the verb to speak, uh, hablar, and jobs, trabajos. Trabajos. So job and work, it's almost the same. So you can say trabajo is work and job, trabajo, in plural, trabajos. Select the correct translation. The secretary needs help with the work. La secretaria necesita ayuda con el trabajo. So the work is trabajo, and this is it. Jefa, la jefa, uh, la jefa is the boss, once again. Los jefes. Los jefes, 
you see that uh, uh, hefa hefes so uh, this is a plural but it seems that this is a masculine Hefes. yeah it's a masculine pronoun los yes okay so how will you say this it's the bosses yeah uh, the secretary doesn't uh, have messages. The secretary, la secretaria. No. Secretaria. So this is a uh, definite article. The uh, since uh, secretary is feminine, we use the definite article la in Spanish. La secretaria does not no tiene. No tiene. Mensajes. 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 This is how you say messages. And let's el jefe get tiene dos secretarias. Going so, el jefe tiene dos secretarias. So the boss, the boss has two uh, secretaries, and the boss los, los jefes. jefes. Juan, cómo es tu trabajo? So, I see that uh, it can be el jefe, el la efa. <laughs> so it can have uh, different, uh, different, different uh, forms. So it's not so clear so far because uh, is it masculine or is it feminine? Uh, we will see this. Juan, cómo es tu trabajo? Juan, cómo Juan, es tu es trabajo? Trabajo. So here too does not have an accent over the U. It means yo. So Juan, how is your work? So what is your work like? Cómo es? Ah, so nuance here. So what is your work like? Como es tu trabajo? Uh, como va uh, tu trabajo? Will be how is it going at your work? Yeah, at your workplace. He talks with the secretaries. So él, él, él habla, habla con, con uh, las secretarias. Las secretarias. La señorita Gómez es la jefa. La, la. So uh, la jefa. Jefa. Jefa, la jefa. Uh, this is a feminine form now. Es. Es. La señorita Gómez es la jefa. Okay, that was not correct. I'm la, going to remove eh, all this. La, la señorita Gómez es la jefa. Okay, so this is clear now because jefa can be a feminine. Uh, now or a feminine, uh, a masculine now, so it changes. La EFA, LFA. Okay, let's get started uh, with this new exercise. Translate this sentence. I am talking with the bosses. Yo, Yo hablo, hablo con, con uh, las, las EFAs. Jefas. Jefas. It's not EFAs, jefas. You have to say the H sound. And this is correct. El jefe tiene un mensaje. So this one is a masculine boss. Mensaje. So mensaje means uh, message. Jefe. Jefe. It's not jefe. Jefe. You have to say the the H sound once again. And for mensa, mensaje. Also, you have to say the H, the H sound. Uh, translate the sentence. Sonia do not have two jobs. So Sonia. Sonia. Uh, do have. Uh, it's a question actually. Sonia. Uh, how will you say this? Uh, this question. How will you ask this question? Sonia, do you have two jobs? Sonia. Sonia. Tienes, ¿Tienes dos, dos trabajos. Trabajos. Los mensajes de esta semana. So, los mensajes de esta semana, like I said, esta is this, and semana is week. So, the messages of this week, Mrs. Gomez is a boss. So, here it's not Mrs., but it's Ms. So, it's still going to be, uh, so, señorita. So, we don't know, we, we call señorita. Ms., we have met señor, señora, which is Mrs., and Miss is Senorita, but it seems that Miss is also Senorita. So, La Senorita. La 
señorita. ¿Cómo es? Gómez. Es e, la, la. F, jefa. Jefa. And translate this sentence. The work in the office is interesting. El trabajo, El trabajo en la en oficina la ofi es, es interesante. interesante. Here you go. And this message is important. How will you say? Mensaje. So, esta mensaje es importante. Importante. Very good. And there was a mistake here. What was a mistake? Este mensaje. Uh, okay. So it's uh, then it's it's just uh, masculine. So my bad. So mensaje is masculine. So it goes with este. So I'll write it este mensaje. Mensaje es importante. Importante. Here you go. And this time I got it correct. And let's keep going. Here's my new strike. I'm on a six day strike now. And this is an ad that I will quickly close because I don't have the purchase version. So let's do some more exercises here and so uh, we'll still talk about work. We have plenty of time. I think we will do at least uh, four exercises, four rounds of exercises. I am learning a lot at my job. You aprendo mucho en mi trabajo, if you agree. Yeah. And here we have two pair of azúcar desk. How do you say desk? Uh, desk, desk, escritorio, escritorio, sorry. Escritorio. Escritorio is a new word for us, so we have to to remember it. Nice, sorry, nice is simpático. Simpático. Bicicleta, Bicicleta is bicycle. Hola. Hola is hello. Select the correct translation. I am not writing with a pen. Yo no escribo con un bolígrafo. And here we have hermana. hermana. This is sister, telephone is telephone. Telephone teacher is maestro. maestro. To write is escribir. Escribir. So we know that the letter B sounds like a V and sí. Yo no C is yes. mucho en la oficina. Yo no escribo mucho en la oficina. I do not write much in the office. Uh, in the office or at the office as well. This is a question that I usually ask myself. I do not write much in the office. Uh, yes. So, yo no, yo no escribo, escribo. escribo mucho, mucho en la, la oficina. oficina. Okay. El jefe escribe los mensajes aquí. El, el jefe escribe, escribe, escribe. Yeah, escribe los mensajes aquí. El jefe. The boss... Uh, the boss writes the messages here. Here you go. And do you have a desk? A desk? Sorry. Do you have a desk in your office? Uh, this is a question. Tu no, tienes uh, un, uh, un escritorio, escritorio en tu, en tu oficina? oficina? Okay. La secretaria trabaja mucho los lunes. La secretaria trabaja mucho los lunes. The secretary works a lot on Mondays, los lunes. And Juan, so Juan, you write very well in Spanish. Juan, tú Juan, escribes yeah. Escribe. muy bien en español. Español. This is how you say it. And el señor Pérez tiene dos escritorios. El señor Pérez, señor Pérez. tiene dos escritorios. Dos escritorios. Escritorios. escritorios y desks. And the boss writes the messages here. Uh, the boss is el, el jefe. jefe. Uh, escribe. Escribe. Uh, los mensajes. Los mensajes. Aquí. Aquí. Here. Escribes un mensaje, Eduardo. Escribes Escri un mensaje, un mensaje Eduardo. Eduardo. So, uh, are you writing a message, uh, Eduardo? 
And Pedro, the boss wants to write your phone number. Pedro, we have the first one already here. The boss, El Jefe. Uh, wants is Quiere. Quiere. Uh, escribir. Escribir. Uh, tu. Tu. Uh, tu uh, numero de Numero telefono. De telefono. Here you go. Necesito escribir un mensaje. So, necesito escribir un mensaje means I need to write a message. And Mr. Perez has two desks. So, Mr. Perez, el señor sí, Perez, sí, Perez tiene, tiene uh, dos, dos escritorios. escritorios. Here you go. And Mr. Perez has two desks. So, how will you write this? Uh, el señor uh, Perez with the accent. Uh, I have a typo here since I'm writing with one hand. Uh, Paris tiene is to have. Uh, how do you say it? dos is two? And desk, uh, how do you say it? escritarios? Escritorios. It's not tarios, but torios. Escritorios. Good job. And this was the second round of our exercises and here is another ad that I will close. And how are we doing with the time? We're only halfway uh, through this uh, lesson. We can do uh, another lesson, of course. After the lesson, write down as many phrases as you can remember. So this will help you, of course. And select the correct translation, sir, senor. Which is your office? Qual es su oficina? So which is qual? If you are not uh, familiar with this Spanish word, qual is which? And hospital. Uh, hospital is hospital. Game is partido. Partido. Partido is also match. It's not a game. Jugo. Uh, el jugo. Uh, jugo is. Um, Jugo is juice, but juego, I think it's uh, jugar, ju jugar, juga, I think it's game. So, problems, problemas, problemas, pequeño, uh, small, and is e. e. Okay, select the correct translation. I have a book for the secretary. Uh, I have, so tengo un libro. Para la secretaria. So, libro. This is how you say uh, this word. You pronounce it like a V, the B. Perfecto. Perfecto. Ok, bien. Bien. Poco. Poco is little, train is train. Beber, Beber is to drink, if you remember. ¿Cuál es el problema? Uh, ¿Cuál es el problema? Is uh, what's the problem? What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el Problema. So, ¿cuál es el problema? Is literally what what is the problem or which problem it is. Um, which problem is it? Sorry. So, sir, señor, señor. which is your office? Uh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es su, eh, su oficina? oficina? Yo quiero tener un jefe simpático. So, yo quiero tener un jefe simpático. So, I want to have a nice boss. And I want to have an interesting job. Yo quiero, quiero un, un trabajo, trabajo interesante. interesante. Uh, that was a mistake. So, why was it uh, not good? Only the first verb changes. Keep all the verbs in the infinitive. So, maybe I was going too fast. So, la niña quiere beber agua. Uh, él uh, quiere hablar inglés, yo quiero escribir. So, ¿Dónde quieres estudiar? So, Ella escribe clear. una carta para el jefe. Ella escribe Escri una carta, un carta para el jefe. El jefe. Carta is, um, is a letter. Yes. Uh, Juan, Juan. Uh, I need your email address. So, Juan, yo necesito... Yo necesito. To, uh, to, 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 what do you need? Your, your email address. So, to, correo. Por electrónico. Electrónico. Ella correo. trabaja poco en la oficina. 
Corey Luis Meles. So what was it? Ella trabaja poco en la oficina. Ella, Ella traba... trabaja. Trabaja, trabaja. Ella trabaja un poco en en Ella trabaja poco en la oficina. Trabaja poco, poco. en la oficina. La oficina. So she works little uh, in the office. And does a boss uh, have a problem? So this is a question. El jefe tiene tiene eh uh, tiene qua tiene tiene what uh, a problem un problema un problema la secretaria escribe so la secretaria escribe las cartas los lunes means uh, the secretary writes the letters on mondays and the boss works little on thursdays uh, usually I say, I would say, the boss works a little, a little, it's not little, it works a lot. So I, I'm not sure if it's a good English here, the boss, the boss works little. I work a little, or I, I work a, I work a lot, a little, so, <coughs> uh, me, me jefe. jefe. Uh, trabaja. trabaja so I have to say that now that I am conscious of uh, the fact that the letter B can change into a V sometimes like escribir uh, it's written escribir but you pronounce as escribir so trabajar uh, so why does it uh, stay B it's trabaja probably uh, escribe, escribe, vir, vir. Is it only in front of E and E? But for I it's fine. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. So when does the consonant B change into a V and vice versa? So mi jefe uh, trabaja uh, poco, poco. Uh, on los, los jueves. jueves. Jueves y Thursday. Este es mi correo electrónico. So once again, this is my email address. Or you can say, este es mi correo. It's, e it's mail. So this is my electronic mail. And this letter is from England. Letter is, uh, you say, carta, esta carta, es, carta. es, de, es de Inglaterra. Inglaterra. And the secretary writes the letters on Mondays. So how will you write this? La secretaria, secretaria, what does she, what does she do? Escri, escri, escribir. Escri... Escribe... Uh, los letters... Las... Cartas... So, las cartas... Los... Lunes... I hope it's good... Yes, nice... And translate this sentence... I want to have an interesting job... Yo, Yo quiero... quiero un, un trabajo, trabajo interesante... interesante. Okay, I'm not sure uh, what happened here. Uh, there was a problem. I want to have an interest. You know, yo, yo quiero, quiero. Uh, to have a. Yo quiero tener, tener. I omitted this word. Tener is to have. Tener un trabajo. Un trabajo. Interesante. Interesante. Here you go. So we have one more round to do before we're done with this uh, lesson. Uh, one more round of exercises, of course. So, how are we doing with the time? We are p doing perfectly well because we still have uh, roughly five minutes. Let's get going. And so, so you can purchase uh, different things from the shop on Duolingo to make your lessons more interesting. But here we are concentrating mostly on 
learning new things and so on and revising what we already uh, we have already learned yeah do you need to read much at your job uh, do you so is it um, necesitas leer mucho en tu trabajo so this is the correct one and problema, problema. Cuba. Cuba familia, familia. y negocios. negocios this is also a new word it's only in this uh, lesson that we we talk about business, the word negocio, and select the correct translation. The boss is reading the messages now. El jefe lee los mensajes ahora. Now is ahora. So, uh, so that you know, aquí is here, but ahora is now. Este escritorio es nuevo. Este escritorio es nuevo. So this, this desk is new. So remember, escritorio is the desk. So este is this demonstrative adjective. You are reading a book in Spanish. Tú lees, lees un libro un en español. español. Yo tengo un negocio en los Estados Unidos. I have a business in the United States, that's how you say it. I read uh, the messages on Mondays. So, yo, yo. yo leo, leo. Uh, los, los mensajes, mensajes. Los, los lunes. El señor Albert lee una carta. I didn't get el señor it. Albert lee una carta. So, el señor, señor Albert, Albert lee, lee una, carta. una carta. Very good. So, I need a new computer. How would you say this? Necesito. Necesito. Necesito uh, a new. Uh, una computadora uh, comp nueva. nueva. Of course, the adjective comes after the noun in Spanish. So, Necesito no problem. una computadora nueva. Necesito una, una computadora com nueva. Nueva. And so, are you reading the letters now? Señor. Señor. Uh, le. Le. Uh, usted? Usted. Señor. Le. Uh, how will you write this? I think le. usted comes first. Señor, usted lee uh, the letters. Las cartas le. ahora? Carta. Ahora. Okay. No, yo no leo libros en el trabajo. Okay, I missed this. Let's try again. No, yo no. So it was a little bit tricky. No, yo no leo libros en el trabajo. No, I don't read books at work. You see, here we have the prepositions at. So at work, what do you do at work? Or in work, you see? Um, where are you right now? I am uh, at my work. At is I am at work. So where are you? You're at. And in my work, I do this and that. Okay? So uh, this is how you should uh, use the prepositions, I guess. Let's go on. Let's translate this sentence. On Mondays, I need to read the messages for my boss. On Monday, so it's los. Los. Lunes. Lunes. Necesito. Necesito. Leer. Leer. Infinitive because uh, this is the second verb in the sentence. Leer what? Uh, mensajes. 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 Uh, leer los mensajes. Los mensajes. Uh, de mi, de mi jefe. jefe. Okay. Why do we need uh, this uh, definite uh, article masculine plural? So, this masculine plural definite article if you want. So, on Mondays, I need to read messages. Los mensajes de. So, it's just like this. In Spanish, you have to use the articles more than um, in, um, in English because when 
When it's plural in uh, English, you just don't use the article, isn't it? Uh, if you say the messages, well, you can say the messages, but in a sentence, if you say I have to take uh, the messages, I have to read the messages from my box. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. On Mondays, I need to read messages from my boss. Uh, I need to read the messages from my boss. So is it needed here? I need to read the messages. Yeah, I think uh, there's something missing, probably. Tú lees mucho en el trabajo. To lees mucho en el trabajo means you read a lot at work. And this business is very interesting. Uh, business is negocio. Este es negocio, negocio es, es muy, muy interesante. interesante. All right, so very good. Uh, now we're running uh, short uh, on time. So the boss has a new car. La. La jefa. Jefa. Tiene, Tiene un, un carro nuevo. Car nuevo. Here you go. All right, guys. One last. Sir. Señor. Are you reading the letters now? So, usted le uh, what? Las cartas. We need to have a good memory. If you want to... If we want to learn new languages, of course. Señor, usted lee las cartas ahora. This is how it should be. Yes, got it. All right, so I finished uh, all the, the exercises. Uh, no thanks. And I've got a new crown for this uh, topic, which is great. And I will say I pass. No, thank you. Another ad, I will close this. All right, so now we are in green for work. As you can see, the previous exercises, uh, I did it uh, five times and I turned it into this yellow, golden yellow. And when you are, when you don't, you haven't done it uh, at all, it's still in purple or if it's even not uh, unlocked, I guess it's incomplete gray like this but it can be blue as well it seems but when you yeah when you I guess blue means that you have done it once yes blue means that you have done it once if it's not unlocked uh, the lessons are in, in gray if it's unlocked it's in purple if you did it once it's in blue and after that if you did it twice, like I did for work, then it becomes uh, in which color? It turns in. It turns in, in in green. Yes, yeah, that's how it is. Very nice. So very well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, of course, I'm also learning. I'm not an. Uh, I'm not a Spanish teacher. So, but I am a teacher. Normally, I'm an English teacher, I have a CELTA, and I like languages very much. So, uh, if you like this video and you found it helpful, uh, give it a thumb up, give it a like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, not to miss out on my next videos. And so, this is the project that I have. I want to do all the lessons on Duolingo, and I'm also... Uh, watching some uh, series in Spanish uh, from the BBC. So thank you so much. Uh, subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Adios.